Hello, welcome to channel 48. We're here with the Samsung S2. It's the GTI 9100 and I created a very beautiful iPhone 10 mod for this phone. In fact, for all my phones. And I'm going to show you the installing uh, procedure, how to do it, etc, etc. You must be rooted already and you should already partition your drive so you could install Android 7 onto the device. We're gonna boot into recovery and we're gonna get into twerp. In twerp we're gonna do a wipe data factory reset. After that is done we're gonna go to the uh, internal drive and select the lineage OS version that goes for this phone. This is the latest version created some days ago. All credits for the Android version goes to Lineage OS. We let this install. At the side, I'm also showing you the 9105P and the iOS mod will also work on the Samsung S2 Plus. In fact, it will work on any Android phone that has the same screen resolution from the S2. The S2 Plus is still on the Steve Jobs memorial mod that we created on the 5th of October to remember Steve Jobs. Okay, uh, we're gonna install the iOS mod now. There you can see it, I, iPhone 10 mod. And there we go. And it's installing. Now we're gonna reboot the phone. The reboot might take up to 3 minutes. Just let it boot and let it go. The Samsung S2 GTI 9100 is still a very, very nice phone. Here you can see the bigger brother, the Samsung S5. And uh, this is also a nice phone. It's nice and big. and. <clears throat> The mod also looks very beautiful on this phone. As a matter of fact, uh, the Samsung S5 and the S2 have the same mod. Well, not exactly the same mod, but um, the same apps. The mod for the S2, the S3 and the S4, 5, 6. These are different mods. We have a built-in mobile protection by Bitdefender. And thanks it being connected to the internet, it's very up to date. Okay, so we can set up the system. Here we are, Lineage OS, Android 7.12, and that on the Samsung S2. Can you believe it? This is a brand new fresh bacon Android version for this phone and we're just gonna boot in into the system and up here we're gonna give the permissions that the launcher will ask of you to let everything function the way it should. Just give the permissions and slide down and there it is. You'll also see three invisible icons. Just pop them invisible into one and other so you get a folder and whenever that folder is created you're good to go just put it somewhere at the back and never look at it again and there you go the iPhone 10 mod including iNoti we just enable the permission so it's also up and running the control center is built into the launcher so that is really fantastic here you can see the settings of the launcher and there are several things that you can set up you can set up the desktop you can set up the the dock you can set up your wallpaper and you can uh, even change the the size of the dock and the size of the icons you can set a lock screen and a passcode you can do that all uh, with this beautiful iPhone X mod 
for the Samsung S2 Plus, but also for the S3 and the S4 and the S5 and the S6. And coming up very soon is uh, the mod for, in fact, the ROM for the Galaxy Advance. And finally, then also the ROM for the Galaxy Prime, the Grand, will also get the iPhone 10 mod and the galaxy um what was it called the gyo of course we cannot forget about the gyo the gyo is gonna be one big star and of course the s3 mini will also get it and the s4 mini i forgot about these phones i still have them they will all get this iphone 10 mod so yeah uh for those that uh, have one of these uh, phones that i called stay tuned uh, very soon these videos will come online of course uh, for the samsung tab 2 uh, you will also get a beautiful uh, mod coming your way it it's also uh, effect i'm gonna call it the tab x the tab 10 mod so yeah that's it peeps uh, i'm looking for the add-on zoo here to um, to kind of install it but i think i don't have it in here anymore so you know what uh, let's against the rules uh, connect to the internet and um, let me go to Google and type at on su arm just type at on su arm and the search engine of Google will bring you automatically to the extra folder of the lineage website and up there you will find the 32 bit of at on su arm and that's exactly what you need to root this phone because you know if you install lineage os even though if your phone was rooted uh, you won't have root access whenever you installed lineage os and that was done to protect you that's right okay the file is in there it is so we can now hit the power button and select reboot into a recovery mode so let's go ahead and do that remember that the file should be in your download folder so if we're gonna go into twerp we will select the download folder to find the add on su arm that we need okay though so let's do that the bias is not so fast as the other phones so it takes a second before it goes into the recovery mode but there we are there's twerp we say install and we go to our download folder there it is you see that and we select add on to arm and boom the phone is now rooted okay let's reboot so that's kind of cool phone will reboot way faster than the first time because this uh, the system was already set up so uh, yeah that's kind of cool i think the galaxy s2 even though it's very old and most people don't use it anymore because uh, yeah my friend came to me he said look i have a s2 uh, it's it, it doesn't want to take whatsapp I, I i really don't know why it was maybe it was up is not uh, supported anymore for uh yeah for this these phones uh, on official firmware so that's why it's a great thing that we have Lineage OS to help us to still use these devices. And really, um, most people, they don't know about it. And if they still have a device like this, they think that, you know, if they sell it for 15 bucks, that they still got a good price because the thing cannot run WhatsApp. And in fact, in their eyes, you cannot do anything with this device anymore. That while uh, it's not true, if you know how to uh, repetition the drives with special software and with a complete manual that's out there uh, on the internet you can easily install a higher version of android on this phone and and just make it beautiful again as you can see this is a nice phone we also have two app stores the the aptoid and uh, the apk pure be careful when you download apps by the way, you don't even have to 
be careful anymore because you have this mobile protection of Bitdefender and Bitdefender will immediately if you download a file or install a file it will tell you if the file was safe or not safe so that is kind of cool i really love that so i'm i'm a big fan of bitdefender i remember when i started out with computers in 1999 uh yeah i was kind of getting serious because then we got internet connection then i was using avg antivirus eh? i used it for i think one month or so and then a friend came to my uh, to me and said you must use Bitdefender you know and then I started using Bitdefender so I'm using Bitdefender since the 90s I know this 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 fire scanner software is, is very very good okay really it is all right so um, I just enabled the root in the developers options so I can turn on the firewall and there we're gonna go we're just gonna uh, select some of the apps that we would love to keep uh, home not to go uh, on the net because yeah they bring all sorts of things home that we don't want <laughs> it's just like if you have a beautiful daughter you don't want her to come home with guys right so yeah that's exactly how it is uh, with these apps they are lovely but they love to play around so we must keep them uh, we must keep them home right so they don't go too much on the street they can only go whenever we want them to go so that's why i'm doing that and some of them they don't even have to get out of the yard you know the yard the the the, the room is big enough for them to stay right here at the home <laughs> that's how you must see it so that's how i see it that's my way of uh, dealing with uh, this whole uh, thing <laughs> it's almost like a cat and mouse game eh? i always feel like tom and jerry and then i'm the mouse and then i have this cat running behind me <laughs> and i must be uh, smarter than the cat otherwise i will be caught you know so that's why yeah that's how i see it i just see it as a cartoon so um yeah so after uh, setting up all these uh, little thingies in my in my firewall because if i yeah these are my choices you should know for yourself whatever you want to so don't forget to turn it on and to set the white to blacklist otherwise yeah <laughs> it you can select whatever you want but then it won't work okay so there we are we're back in the desktop you can give the little home uh, the preferences a prominent place on your on your uh, desktop there put it on top so you can always find it whenever you look for something if you cannot find a certain icon just swipe to the left and uh, you will f just type uh, whatever you're looking for and you will find it this is uh, the radio app it's really nice you will find all sorts of music and even uh yeah your country's music listen to this so that is really nice i like that Yep, I like it too. And the little button there at the top uh, left on top will let you record 10 minutes of the show that you're listening at. Okay, peeps, well, this was it. I, in fact, don't have to show more. Link will be in the description. I hope you liked this video. If you did, of course, leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel. If you did not already, hit the little bell and uh, stay well. And then I love to see you in my next video again.